So I'm getting back into reading a little bit more these days. So I thought that I would share with you some of the books that I'm, that I currently own at least, that are sort of like on my radar for the next little while that I'm most interested in reading right now. So uh, the first one is what I'm currently reading, which is actually Descartes' Bones. Finally, how many years later? I actually realized I, well, I remember I'd started reading it a while ago, but um, I really couldn't remember anything about it, but I always like underline and stuff when I read. And so I can tell um, where I got to. And I actually got further than I thought. I think that my underlining stopped around page 92, I think. And I actually, that was like, that's a pretty decent chunk, but um, most of it I don't remember reading. But now I'm a decent chunk, I'm page 168. Um, it's really good so far. I've been really enjoying like all of the history and the philosophy that you know it goes into and uh, it's very inspiring um, I'm getting lots of ideas for characters and even like plot points or like elements that I like and uh, yeah it's just it's really cool so far um, yeah so that's a good one that's a good one so far. I really, I really am enjoying that. The second one, or the next one, or whatever, um, which is actually, I started it before I picked up that one. And it's this book called Da Vinci's Ghost. I love Leonardo da Vinci. I've always been drawn to him and his art and life and, uh, journals and his science and, and all that and uh, when I was in Florence I went to um, this like exhibit or whatever where they had a bunch of prototypes of his inventions and some of his art and um, when I was in there I had a podcast going about his life and it was just such a cool experience and I just have such a draw to Da Vinci and so I just really have been wanting to like read more about him in detail so um, I actually found this book on my sister's bookshelf and I really liked it at, when I started reading it but she was using it to like press leaves and stuff so they kept like falling out when I was trying to read it it was very annoying and I just like wasn't I just couldn't deal with that so I'm gonna like talk to her about it and see if I can just like take the leaves out and put them in something else um, so I can read it but um, yeah I want to I want to connect with da Vinci I want to know more about him and I just feel like he helps me navigate life and understand things and yeah so da Vinci's ghost um, by Toby Lester that's on the list next we've got the divine comedy these are only Purgatorio and Inferno. I don't have Paradiso. Um, Paradiso, sorry. I'm not gonna put on the Italian, but um, yeah, I've just always been really interested in this. I have been, or a couple weeks ago, I started reading about it, um, reading little excerpts, and I just find it so fascinating. And I think there's a lot of cultural significance and uh, yeah, I just, I'm, I'm really curious about it. I feel like I want to have it in my repertoire, if that makes sense. And uh, yeah, it's, I don't know if I'll ever actually be able to like fully read it cover to cover. Um, like three of these, that's a lot, <laughs> like for the style that it's written in. But I like these, this edition because it has the Italian and the English and I'm always trying to learn Italian so I think um, even just like reading a canto here and there and just kind of studying it would be really helpful um, but yeah I, I should I, I do want to get Paradiso as well 
but um, yeah, that's on the list too. Uh, the next one, we'll stick with the language learning thing. This is Jules Verne, Vingt Milieu Sous les Mers, which is 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. I read the English translation when I was in high school. I really, really liked it. And I picked up this French copy at the Shakespeare Company when I was in Paris. And I just love that. And I started reading it when I was there. Um, I didn't get too far, but I really want to improve my French. I took French immersion all throughout elementary and high school and then one semester in university before I transferred. And so my French is like acceptable and I can have conversations. And when I'm using it more, it gets better very quickly. But my vocabulary is very limited. Um, I can't really express myself in the same way. It's not my native language and I've never been like fully immersed in it for that long. Um, so I really, really want to improve on it. I started watching um, that show Lupin on Netflix, which is a French show. And I want to regularly watch movies in French and read in French so that I can be more fluent because I really wouldn't even say I'm fluent at all I'm just like advanced intermediate to advanced but it's at like a relatively high level of French so it'll be a, a nice challenge so I just want to like make a point of trying to read this more to help me with that and then I think the last one on my list for now is life ritualized I got this a couple of years ago um, this is by Phoenix Le Fay and uh, I don't know how to pronounce this name. <laughs> Guayan? Uh, Raven? <laughs> I don't know, those don't sound like real names, but <laughs> whatever. Um, and it's kind of just like a, it's a bunch of suggestions of ways to like ritualize your life and make moments and milestones special and acknowledge them and like make them a little bit of a thing and that just feels really important to me and something that I feel like is missing a lot in the culture that I've been raised in I think um I just think it's really important to make moments and milestones special and I feel like ritualizing things kind of imbues a little bit more meaning to them sometimes and um yeah, I just really want to read this and get somebody else's perspective on it to kind of like inform it more and so that it can kind of become more natural for me to do. Um, because yeah, I just am really passionate about that and I think it's really important um, for me and just to like acknowledge things either like if they're like good things or bad things, sad, happy achievements or um, tragedies or whatever just kind of acknowledging things more and making them I don't know yeah ritualized whatever anyways that is uh, the, the last book that's kind of on my like immediate radar for what I want to read in the coming months um, but yeah it's been nice to like get back into it a little bit more um, yeah, those are at least the ones that I haven't read yet that I want to read. I guess other than 20,000 Leagues, but the French version is new. So yeah, those are the books. That's it. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, I will talk to you next time. Bye.